All right, guys. The video I just uploaded, that's a fail, man. It looks like the night before Christmas. Look at that. What the hell is that? It looks like shit. Took my nose. We'll keep it for Halloween. I'll throw it at people. All right. Another piece. This one we're doing different. We are going to keep the thumb in this time. All right. We're not going to have this big whatever thingamabob going on. We're going in. So the hand looks like it's like that. We're doing it the right way. It's a left hand, not a right hand. Whatever the hell this is, I'm gonna scratch my head. Good God! I spent all night last night and this morning doing this. Uh, if I could do it, you could do it. I know. So we're gonna dig it out, and we're gonna do it again. Twice. <laughs> we're not gonna do it three times. It's still probably like. Only 10 degrees here. It's freezing. No, it's not. It's great. Canadian, eh? So, yeah. We're going to set it up. Get the same crap going on. We're going to do our cut saw tools. We're going to... Oh, God. Just let's go, eh? All right, guys. So, let's just get on it. We're going to carve this out. We're going to take some of this off. Uh, I'm going to try to make sure you get into the camera this time. Because last time, I kind of screwed up. Like I said, we're keeping the thumb in more this time. We're going to have these guys angled out dug in you know let's just go getting that far we will continue after these All right guys so we uh, got a different shape going on here this is <laughs> from this to this left-handed we also got a new new friend no, it's just a piece of plastic from dollar store but it's a good reference Halloween is always the best for getting all your good stuff they don't give this stuff out or sell this stuff out other times of the year so this is probably the best time to get anything kind of props if you want to carve and stuff like that so anyway we're just going to work on our uh, hand so uh, let's get at it oh yeah sorry we're using a roto zip right now just to really dig into the corners that we need and then we'll go back to our cut saws all right Okay, so we're going to change back up to our cut saw. All right, <clears throat> so we need to bring down the fingers more and then uh, get the thin fingers thinner. So we're just going to set that up. <clears throat> so we're getting closer to the object of in hand. <laughs> so what I did was, <clears throat> let me just set you guys up we'll get back duke time it's still duke time a minus no plus two plus three <laughs> beautiful all right so what we got going on is this hand the right the left hand which is the right hand we do have a little bit of a crack here that's part of the cottonwood that's okay we'll fix that up um we are trying to get a little bit more of a curve 
So, um, yeah. Well, the curve might have to come out to the top more. Maybe dig in a little bit inside here. The fingers are still a little thick. I mean, they are hand size now. It's, it's, um, what did I do with the other one? Right here. Like, I was going for lady fingers here. Uh, problem with lady fingers is they don't look like they're, um, bleh, you know, I have to get you. This could be a kid's hand with very wide fingers. No, we are going to, yeah. That's a good back scratcher. We are going to keep on with this one. Uh, we're going to try to keep the same, th I'm going to say the same thickness this time because, um, I don't want to go too thin and we're going to take a little bit more at the bottom of this this part of your hand so we can see if we can curve what we'll do is we'll draw the lines here let's just do that talk too much work less sounds like unionized work so we got our hand we know our hand goes out like this better like that okay so already our th little finger is becoming thin too thin in my eyes so what I'm gonna do is just approximately put what I would say my hand is the lines the separation of where the fingers go. Um, and then if I did that. All right, so. Something like. So something like this is where we're going to put the separation lines. Now that would be these little little things here, whatever they call them. I'm no handologist. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're gonna start rounding those sort of inwards to see what we can get. Like I might be able to. I'm thinking if I took out a little bit on the top here, might be able to make the finger look like it's rounded. You know, we'll do it at that same angle, kind of through. Not too much because our our middle finger is bigger, right? I want to keep that, and then we'll sort of kind of round that guy off. And then our little finger, well, we don't have very much choice. We don't want to go too crazy. We don't want to lose too much of it. But we could round off the top of these guys. Okay, the thumb, uh, it's the thumb. You know, I had my friend say, oh, your thumb's a little bit small, which is, I get it. But if I went on the hand, premises of my hand being on top, that's pretty much where my thumb is. So the the, the other side is the, the difference where we have to kind of come in here a bit more. Leave this out because it's either way when we're doing this, the knuckle part will stick out more. And uh, this has that fat meaty skin up here. So <sighs> lots of work. Um, but we could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Don't forget that, guys. And then he'll be standing like that with a, well, there she is. Ooh. I think the dragonfly left-handed, I got the reference picture somewhere on my phone. So, something like that, guys. He'll be standing. I have to get back to the guy. I don't think we're going to paint the hand. The dragonfly will make him multicolored, very pretty. Uh, I'll see maybe just a stain 
if they want the hand kind of off-white brown, we could do that. Um, I just don't know about the hand yet. So we're going to cut this down to not a fail and a second video. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.